Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Facebook or Meta Conversion API. And so what this does is it helps you track your conversions on your website in instances where your Facebook pixel may fail. So maybe somebody has an ad blocker or something like that and it's blocking your pixel from activating. Well, then the events could still be sent over to Facebook via the API and that way you can still track your conversions. So anyway, you wanna be over here in your events manager and under data sources, and then you wanna to go to the same spot where you set up your pixel. So I'm right here under my SEM training. And then we can come over here to settings and we wanna scroll on down here, looking for something specific, conversions API right here. And we wanna scroll down here to set up a direct integration and we wanna go ahead and generate an access token. So we're gonna click this option here and then we're gonna go ahead and copy this right here. And so this is my token right here that connects to the Facebook ad account via the API. And so now I can go ahead and plug this into my sites plugin and that way I'll start tracking my events via the API as well. So I'm gonna come back over to my website and I'm going to scroll down to my meta pixel or formerly Facebook pixel click into here and we see the option for conversion API recommended. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there just like that. And of course I'm using WordPress with the Pixel Your Site plugin here and maybe using a different platform that also accepts the conversion API. Like I know ClickFunnels 2.0 accepts the conversion API. And so the same concept would apply. You would just put your token into the ClickFunnels 2.0 dashboard and it would function similarly. Now I can also add a test event code so that way I can make sure that my API and everything is working. So I'm gonna come back to my events manager here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on test events and I see some options here. So confirm your server's events are set up correctly and it gives me this test event code. I'm gonna go ahead and click copy here come back to my website and paste that code in here like that. Now, one thing to note, once you're done testing, you wanna make sure that you delete this code out of here. Otherwise, you're gonna run into some issues. So that's just one thing to be reminded of and it says it right here, remove it after testing, but really make sure you remove this after testing. Also, if you're using the Pixel Your Site plugin, make sure that you enable conversion API, otherwise it's not going to work. So make sure you flip this switch if you're using the conversion API. Anyway, we're gonna come down here I'm gonna click on save settings and then I'm gonna go back to the events manager here and I'm going to click on confirm your websites events are set up correctly and then I'll enter my website URL and open website and I can see my metapixel helper is showing that there's a pixel here so again I've installed my pixel here but I also have my API going on and I'm just going to click around a little bit and try and go to some different pages on my website so I'm on this other page as well now let's come back to the events manager and I can see the events that are occurring on my site. So I can see that I have a page view, a subscribe button click, and a page view event. And I can see all of them came from the browser. And so what that means is that they actually came from my pixel and they didn't actually come through the API. So I'm gonna go back to my website and click around a little bit more and see if I can get my API to fire off as well. So the API does have a slight delay, but all the events started coming in. As you can see, the I have a server event, which is the API, and you can see that it was du a duplicate event because the pixel also caught it. So the pixel and the API both caught it. And Facebook was smart enough to know that it was the same exact event, so it deduplicated one of the events. Same concept with the lead over here and another page view and another page view and so on. So anywhere that it says server, you know that the API worked, and if it says browser, then you know that the Facebook or Meta Pixel actually fired off. And so it looks like both the Pixel and Conversion API are working. Let me come back to my site here and I wanna make sure that I remove this test event code out of here so that way I'm tracking stuff for real. And we'll scroll on down the bottom and save our settings. And now we're done setting up our Facebook Conversion API. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. So likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyarmarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.